Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. On the bench is the ADI 5004SC and I'm going to show you how to take the cylinder out and how to rekey it. So normally you'd be looking at this lock in this type scenario where it's bolted onto the door, comes through with these mushroom bolts, comes through onto this backing plate and then you have these, I just call them rail guides. So you have four of them, one, two, three, four. Now to get this lock off the door, what you have to do, because it'll be like this, you won't see anything, you won't see any screws, and from the inside you'll just see the bolts. So to get this off the door, what you need to do, it has a plastic grommet on the front, you need to pop that out. That will allow you access to the two Allen key screws, which are right here, which go straight through the lock body and onto the backing plate. So you remove them, then you'll be looking at what we're looking at now. You put the key and you turn it, you lift it up a, a little fraction until it comes to a stop, then you rotate it to the left, sorry, push it down, there's a sweet spot, rotate it to the left, here we are, so you have to kind of find that sweet spot so that you can turn it in a 90 degree fashion uh, to the left, depending on which way you're looking at, but the way I'm looking at it, go to the left, and then you can pull and the bolt will actually come out. Now what allows the bolt to go in and out of its removal track is this little pin here. So I'm going to show you here that there's a little uh, guide there for the pin and on the inside here if you see it we're talking about this this track this track right here. So you have to remove the two screws first because the pin actually has to go into the track uh, go to the left and then slide out along that groove. Once you've got your bolt out, I'll do that real quick one more time, so you, pu uh, you undo it with your key, pull it up till it comes to a stop, rotate it around, and I'm rotating it to the left, and then you pull it along the channel, this pin will slide along this channel here. Once you've got that bolt out, the actual lock will come off in your hand. Reason being is that when this bolt is locked into the lock, it's actually held in place by these runners and if you can see that these runners guide that bolt you also have this section here along which captures that pin so that pin is vital to the actual um, you know alignment of the bolt so once it's in the right spot and you re you've removed the the two front screws and you've lifted it up you can rotate it to the left like we showed you and then it rotates out with this pin in the actual removal channel it's actually a little bit easier than it sounds once you get used to it. Once you get your lock like this, we need to actually change the cylinder. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to remove this. I've got the wrong Allen key. Wrong Allen key. All right, let's do it the the cheating method. And I just need a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm going to leave everything in place, and I'm going to work on my cam screws. You can remove the cylinder if you wish but then you get the little lithium white grease on your hands so I'm just going to do it this way because all I'm doing is changing from a six pin restricted cylinder to a six pin in line cylinder so it's not it's not a huge transformation. Okay so now I've got that out of the way I'm going to dig my cam out everything's staying in place I'm going to put my key in rotate it quarter of a turn grab a follower Here's a follower here. I'm going to push that through as I pull the actual restricted plug out. There's my restricted plug. I'm just going to put him aside. Now we need another plug for it, which I'll just quickly grab. New one. And we need some change keys. Another plug and some change keys. And they, they marry up okay. We're going to need some pins. So here's some pins. Looking at these keys, they have numbers on the back. 466724. So why don't we just see how accurate they are fours perfect six six perfect seven four sorry two four there's a four on the bench there I'll just save that one okay so I'm <clears throat> I'm checking the pins they all marry up they meet the shear line which is there so it's all nice and round I put my pins away a lot of the time when you've got keys and they've got codes on the back sometimes they're not exactly corresponding to your pins they might have special pins so their six might be slightly deeper than the standard pins we're using standard lab pins and those numbers and those cuts marry up quite nicely so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my plug so the the pins are on the side 
and I know I've got top loaded pins here so I don't want to turn it so the top pins are going to be captured I want to turn it on its side push this plug in as the follower gets pushed out the back okay once once it's all the way in like so simple matter of just rotating this plug all the way around till the top pins drop in ready now they've dropped in put the key in test it left right not clicking give it the little pinch and the pinch means you hold down this inner circle as you pull the key out if you don't do that you're going to pull the plug back and it's going to get jammed in the top pins so very important you do that pushing that back up getting our little funny cam which is designed for this lock and this lock only putting that back in place getting our cam screws putting them on the end of the screwdriver because these are such small screws I like to just put them on the end of a screwdriver and hold them against my finger then what I'll do is I'll put it into the hole give it a little twist and start it off Make, making sure I've got that thread nice and square no cross threading these screws are very important so once I've got the two screws in there simple matter of tightening them up how tight do I want to go well as tight as I can get without stripping the head of the screw if these come loose then you'll have to like pinch the plug to get the key out over time and that can create a fault or a recall okay now the cylinder's in there I'm going to put my bolt back in take note that the little pin is facing the front of the lock yep. my little bar has jumped now there is a little spring under here which I'm actually going to have to push down to get that back in place I'm just going to use a fine pick to do that that was my mistake because I didn't put the key in first so I'm just going to get this little bar underneath that spring and just pop it back in check it spring loaded it is okay now let's try that again let's put the key in first give it a turn that will make that move a little bit more we take our pin and the pin will be going to the front of the lock we slide it in slide it in just make sure that that plate is flat slide it in push pushing it down okay I had to put a little bit of pressure there so I can align the back of the pin into the back of the housing pushing it all the way down to the sweet spot pretty much as far as it can go rotating it back in the right position so this is facing forwards and we should be good to go now so that's lock position that's unlocked position and that roll pin or that big large pin right there is actually sliding into this big groove here and there is another one so you can hear it that's in the first groove when I push it down actually locks that second groove okay so now that's actually complete it's ready to be refitted onto a door or so and to fit these there's a couple of different ways but generally you drill through the back of the, the door you put your plate on you fit these rollers and once the lock body is attached to the door then you go through and put your pin through very important that you get these rollers square and straight so that pin can slide up straight through the middle that uh, pin as well uh, actually does has to slide into this track here so that's important that you get that right as well so I'll quickly just show you that see if that goes to plan so that plate is now on so when I push the bolt in and give it a turn and slide it down that pin has now captured that plate that's what that side track was for so I can just turn that back and that's how you rekey a 5004 ADI bolt Australian product um, some people in different countries might not have a bolt or a, or a product like this so it might be you know something new to see if not for those DIY people who like to rekey their own locks hopefully this has been helpful leave your comments down below and thanks for watching